So we're back in the casino. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Weird. All right, who are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Uh, tell me about Prim. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. Right. What about the Bison Steve Hotel? <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Well, I next need Rumor to go there. is the dealers over there cheap, and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. Bye. Happy trails, partner. No, I didn't think a propaganda bot would have much information for me. Oh, stomach's rumbling. Alright, let's get some grub. It's better. Alright, so I'm going across the street. To the Bison Steve Hotel. Tired, am I? No. Right. That's where we're heading. I'm gonna look for another entrance. I noticed last time that although to me this is very dark. I mean, there's a bit more lighting around this end, but certainly back around that way, it was exceptionally dark. But once I uploaded everything, it was quite easy to see. So hopefully that'll be true again. Please let me know. Sneak up the roller coaster. I'm assuming it's not in operation. Hmm. I'm going to be fighting powder gangers again. Buy some Steve. Hmm. I'm thinking this was of no help whatsoever. the back. I've got plenty of my own dynamite and a couple of frag mines as well. Pretty well off for ammo. No one back here. That's all boarded up. Uh, it looks like there's only the one way in then. Oh, I'm right under an entrance apparently. Ah, up there. Do you think if I can... I'm going to try that. Excellent. Feels slightly cheaty for looking up on the Pip-Boy, but... 
meh, meh, I say. Right. Let's go. So I'm looking for the deputy. I've forgotten his name. Good start. Oh, I am properly tense right now. To the one bullet, right. Looting for everything he's got. Always shut doors behind you. <laughs> Ransom note. What does that say? Mr. Pete, Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash in small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. I have no idea if it's Tuesday or not. So it's sometimes nice just to play a no-nonsense, brutal character with a really big weapon. You don't have to worry so much about sneaking around corners when there's acres of corridor behind you that you can't see anymore. This area seems clear. Suitcase. Jet. Lovely. Oh wow. Psycho. Can sleep. the hell? Interesting. Hmm. No. Alright, so I've got a lot of... Right, what does Psycho do? I remember in Fallout 3 it was... Toughens you up. Damage plus 25, right. Not quite the same as the Wanderer's Edition mod then. Which had a lot more side effects of drug use. Right, this area is clear at least. Easy enough, at least, right? How badly wounded did I get? Ooh, nasty. Ah, that's gonna take doctor's bags. Hmm. 
I'll leave it until it's definitely gone. Stim pack. Oh, lush. Alright, I've repaired some stuff, got rid of some weight, eaten some food. Found a plasma gun? Laser gun? Something? Nuke Cola! Oh, it's empty! Looking forward to my first bottle. I think most of the people on this level I alerted a long time ago. Hmm, interesting. Money in cupboards. It's like a strange thing to do. Ooh. Wonder glue. Yoink. I can't remember what's useful and what's not since I'm not on Wanderer's Edition, which made use of things like glue and tape. Jumpy, I guess. <laughs> Jumpy? I just shot you. Ooh. Nice. Gust hits my rifle there. Can I get up there from here? No. Around the corner. Hmm. We'll look in there in a second. Cola. I'll drink one in here as well. machine. Nuka Cola, awesome. So that perks you up, water and HP as well. But I doubt HP will work. So I won't rely on it. I'll have one now just to be sure. Ah, oh, awesome. Nuka Cola heals, even with uh, hardcore mode. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name then. Right, and let's have a look through here. Haha! -ha. Storage. Storage means ammo. Loot. Doctor's bag. Yes. Ah, oh, empty first aid. Electronics. I'll have all that. And this lift, I'm guessing, is out of operation. Elevator. Broken, but it could be repaired. Which I can't do yet. Just leave it alone. Door to the Bison Steve Hotel. Let's just check my map. Yeah, we've covered this area. And I'm hidden. Useful. Now I might use this stairwell as a fallback point. Hmm.
fact, I will. Just remember I put that there. Don't get closer. If he was going to run at me, I would have had a bad time. now. Hmm. Not for me to load them. Whoa! Had enough. Come on. Blimey! Alright. Eat. Oh, can I do the one shot? Which is enough, almost. Stop shooting me. Right, fall back, fall back, fall back. Whoa! Someone got a flamethrower. You like that? Whoa, whoa, wrong button entirely. Oh no. No. Ah. Oh. Right. was unpleasant. Hmm. Plan was sound. Flamethrower was not. Where's he gone? Take off. Shit. You like that? Maybe I'm just joking. You like that? Shit. Ah! No! Had enough. Yes, I've had, had enough. enough. Oh. I'm having a really bad time. Another one. Whew. Survived. Right. Pair needs to go up. Thirty five. Medicine. Survival. Should we just take that up now? Put a couple in. Speech. Oh, actually, I want explosives up as well. Let's take those out. Continue. Right. Might take my reloading. Or 
Swift Learner. Best one, actually. Swift Learner. Done. Right, I'm hidden. How am I doing? I'm alright. Just about. Incinerator. I can't carry it. Well, oh, just repair some stuff, and now I can. It's going to be hell to pay through this door, isn't it? Let's save here while I'm safe. Yaha! Now, if they're hiding back around the corner, I'm going to keep my finger on the trigger. safe. Where do all the corpses go? There were definitely corpses. Unless they didn't fall out. No, there was... Hmm. That's deeply unsettling. seems fortified. Yep. Come on, come on. Shit. Ow. Please be the last of them. Found some corpses at least, right. Ah, oh, my first Brahmin. Not a live one, but never mind. make anything at the moment. Oh, Bethesda. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Oh, metal spoon. Don't want a metal spoon. Oh, 
There is no money you could pay me to turn. Oh, I thought it was a karaoke machine. It's a dispenser. Definitely have that. Wonder if you can still make the improvised weapons you could in Fallout 3. That was always a nice touch in that game. Dark gun, things like that. Aha! I'm <laughs> very glad he wasn't hostile. I'm just gonna I'll be right with you. I like being thorough. Alright, no one down there. Shut on the door. Yep, I'll have all that. And all that. And I'm over encumbered. I dropped my flamethrower. Alright then, Deputy Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Um, how do you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. Yeah, I noticed I watched that. them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Um, I hear you may have information on the Khans and the Czechoslovakia. Indeed I do, guy. good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Oh, good. I'll free you right after you tell me. I'm sure you mean well, but I'm afraid you'll have For to wait what? until I'm in a calmer emotional state before my memory is going to function. I call BS. Alright, can you tell me about the people who pass through town? I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds... I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. Stay put for no now. No need to rush on my account. I lost feeling in my hands and legs hours ago. Good. Right. Um, I'm gonna just check. I can get to the front door again. Let's check on that. So I've died more than enough for one playthrough. As much as I like this rifle, I'd like a new one. Ha ha! Maintenance door. Right, this is where I've already been. Um, I'm guessing... Which way is the entrance, do we think? North? See, I was thinking it would be to the west. Maybe it's through this way then. Alright, there's the elevator. Quick check in here. Hmm. Aha. Metal box. Ooh! And a safe. That's money. It's in the box. Right, what's the chances of even attempting this? No. No computer to hack either. That was always a bit weird though in Fallout 3. Every safe had a computer to hack. That looks like a front door. I'm really glad I didn't come in this way. Look at the state on this. Could have just thrown a bomb in, but. 
That's several in retaliation, I'm sure. Terminal. Hacking. Uh, same as Fallout 3. Lovely. Right. And again, with the lock picking, this is another thing I quite enjoy doing. There's a nice sort of puzzle element to it. A lot of people don't like it. So I've got four attempts to pick four words, and then it's just a logic problem. So I'll choose one with an ING. Three out of seven, so I'm looking for another ING, most likely. V, hey, there we are. Engage lock. Assuming it was this door. Ah, or it was the safe. Lovely. Right. Lunchbox. Food. Ah, oh, what? It wasn't the lock. Rubbish, right, blood pack. Oh, I found some useful things. Rebound, regenerate AP. That's annoying. I can't use my dynamite to blow it up either, which I could in Wanderer's Edition. I thought I'd read something about being able to do that though. Apparently not. Right, I'll just check this is the. Yes, Prim, right. Let's go get Deputy Beagle. Where's he gone? Around oh, this way. It would be so very Set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be Um hmm. Stick with me. Oh, that's so gracious of you to offer to bodyguard me like that. But I'd only slow you down. <laughs> See you outside. Well, fine. If you go then. Oh, I'm hungry. And it's daytime. Is he expecting trouble? Howdy. I hear bangs. Come on. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself right. out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. I'm going to punch you in the Problem face. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? <sighs> right, you're the sheriff now, shouldn't you? What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Hmm. So I can help out Prim. I want to find out more about prison first. Why would they recommend? Why would he recommend someone that's not from the town? He's only heard of from powder gangers saying he was a real swell dude. Uh, I'll help bring law and order back. You will. That's just that's what marvelous. I do. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. Ah, so you also sheriff. may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Hmm. Tell me about the checkered shirt guy. Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next sheriff? Uh, tell me about the checkered suit. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you. That would be me. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Oh. Where's that?
NCR Correctional Facility. Right, see what we got. Mojave Outpost. Drive in. Nipton. It's just following the road then. Ah, Novak there. Abandoned BOS bunker. Who are the BOS? Brotherhood of Steel. Ah, interesting. Definitely want to check that out and see if they've got stealth gear. Got a feeling that that's why it might be on the map. Potentially. Right. Head in here, do some trading. Lick my wounds. Be sure not to lick anyone else's wounds. So I could persuade the NCR to take over the town. I want to talk to them more about that. I'm not sure if I want to support them or not. They are law and order. But are they any good at it? Is what I want to know. They had more than enough people to deal with the crisis here, at least. And instead I did it all. But anyway, we'll go talk to them. And then we'll make our way around to the next town. It's going to be the story of the game, isn't it? Tracking this checkered shirt. Right, until next time.